Welcome back folks, this is Shane. In today's video, I'm going to install a set of Lace Sensor Gold pickups into my Fender American Original 50s Stratocaster. Now, I love the sound of these pickups, they're really great, but where I'm playing live a lot lately, there's just so much buzz in the venue that I can't actually play any of my single coil guitars, so I thought I'd take a chance on these gold lace sensors. This is a set of pickups I've wanted to try for a very long time. I'm actually a huge fan of the Eric Clapton tone from the mid 90s where he was doing the From the Cradle tour. Some of those Strat tones are some of my favorites. Now I know the Eric Clapton Strat has that boost circuit built into it. I'm not gonna install any of that. I'm just gonna install these low output, almost noiseless pickups into my Strat. I think this should hopefully solve the problem with the buzz. Now, I don't often film videos like this, so if it's helpful or if you enjoy it, please comment below, leave a thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. If you want to check these out, I'll link them down below. I paid full price for these online. I got them shipped over from the US. I got them for a good deal price off Amazon Australia. They were just over 300 bucks, so that's Australian dollars. So for a set of pickups for a Strat, it's actually pretty reasonable coming in at under the price of the Fender pickups here in Australia. And again, I've just always wanted to try these, so I think it's a worthwhile experiment. One of the things I've sort of learned over the years is I can kind of get my tone out of anything, whether I'm using a different amplifier, a different pedal, a different guitar now, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. So I'm hoping that this will solve the noise issue. Another major reason I went for these pickups is I'm left-handed and my current Strat has staggered pole pieces. These don't have staggered pole pieces. So you can get a set of these for your left or right-handed guitar and make them work. As long as they're all running the right way, there's not gonna be any issues. And here's the pickups. Take a look at these. These look super cool. They're the same exact size as standard Fender pickups. So they'll slot straight in on my Strat here. And they look great as well. I think the aesthetic of these will look great, especially with this white Strat. All right, let's see if I can still do it. <laughs> Oh, I missed one. Come on. There we go. Awesome. Still got the grip strength. All right. This could do with a clean while we're at it. All right. So as you can see, the current pickups have LH on them, meaning left-handed. That's again because of the staggered pole pieces. So it's great that Fender actually make left-handed pickups. It's something that a lot of companies won't do. Again, the lace sensor makes this completely interchangeable between left and right-handed guitars so it's a bit of a benefit there but um these old pickups here with the cloth wire and all that kind of stuff i'm not going to get rid of them <laughs> i've swapped pickups so many times over the years in different guitars i don't want to go down that rabbit hole again so if these lace sensors don't work in here i'll put the old ones back and i'll just play my telecaster with the noiseless pickup so i've got a backup plan anyway but yeah these this looks great it's nice and simple it's nice and tidy in terms of its wiring all good now, if you're new to changing pickups or you don't do it very often like I do, what I like to do is take some photos of where the cables are going because um, it's something that you can easily get confused with if there's more than one black cable, for example, or you know whatever the case may be. So just take some photos of how everything is currently wired. It makes putting it all back a lot easier. So I'm just gonna take some photos here. And I usually do one pickup at a time. I've said this in other videos, I don't like to take them all out then put them all in. I just do one at a time, making sure that I don't butcher anything along the way. It just sort of simplifies it for a dummy like me. After looking at the instruction manual, it's nice and simple. So this orange or red cable is the one that actually goes to the switch. I've taken a photograph of that, as I mentioned before. And the green and white both go to ground. Now, being that these uh, cable lengths are quite long, I think what I'm probably going to do is actually take the others out, install it, and manage the cabling a little bit better. I just don't want like long lengths of cable running around everywhere. So I'll start with uh, the middle pickup, go over to the bridge, and get the rest of these done. Looks like I'm going to have to use this right-handed. Right-handed skills are not as good, but we got it. All right, there's the next one. And again, I'm aligning these all the same way. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. I should, should have put it that way, which looks better. No, this way looks better. I got it the right way. <laughs> so one of the things I'm going to be doing more in 2023 and 2024 is actually doing some more gigs. You know, as much as I love doing YouTube, I really miss sometimes getting out and just playing live. And I've done so much more of it uh, just in the last couple of months, especially since recovering from my forearm tendon tear. So... Uh, it's been great. I've been working on my vocals, working on my playing, working on my coordination. And uh, as of tomorrow, I actually got a, a gig at a venue I want to use this at. So 
this should hopefully be ready to go tomorrow and i'll have some live sample footage of it coming up on the channel as well because uh that's what it's all about right i hope this solves the problem the problem was the buzz at that venue so i guess we'll find out you know i should have got an extension cord i was being impatient and i decided not to grab one and i really should have <laughs> it's just reaching oh this is killing me all right let's move this across now a lot of people sort of hang it on lace sensor pickups and i was one of those guys for a long time i thought they always sounded fizzy until i realized not all of the lace sensor pickups are the same these are about as low output as i think they get and if you're a straight up or mostly a blues player like myself playing classic rock whatever the case may be these will be the way to go because they're very reminiscent of the same output of a traditional single coil pickup which means it's not going to change too much in terms of the volume of your amplifier and how much sort of compression and dirt you get all that kind of stuff because what i found with some pickups especially the higher output pickups they really change the dynamics of how you play it means that you don't have to dig in as hard sometimes to to get the same amount of compression back or, or drive out of your amplifier so these should in theory feel pretty much the same which i'm looking forward to testing out you know i've tested so many different types of noiseless pickups i've had a set of the sc noiseless pickups the hot noiseless pickups i had a set of the d allen johnny highland pickups uh, which aren't in production anymore and probably many others <laughs> and uh i'm actually more excited to try these than any others actually and the zex zex coil pickups which were quite good but they were just a little bit on the harsh sounding side for me they sounded a little bit um they still had the strat vibe in the top end but they just lacked sort of like sort of niceness i guess that's the kind of uh thing everyone was like like wanted more of out of noiseless pickups like it needs that top end they were just a little bit a bit too on the hard sounding side for me so i kind of felt like you know what if i'm going to do this again i'll start with these because um yeah all right just i've got this good feeling i've got this good feeling all right so there we go so what i wanted to try and do now right was to tidy up all the wiring so we're going to run it down the middle like this and make sure that it's all nice and tidy as you can see all the lengths of the cable are the same so if you're wondering oh why'd you do it like that it's because it didn't matter all the cables are the same length which means it's going to be a little bit tricky to, to run it down the middle, but I'm going to do that right now. And when I shot this video, I didn't think too much about the position of the soldering iron. So I'm doing most of this either opposite hand or from the wrong direction. So don't work like this if you plan on doing it yourself. Set it up without any camera gear. All right, I just had to do the rest of that without the microphone in my face. It was way too hard, and I'm also working opposite hand, so it's killing me. But uh, basically, I've got it all done. Now, I don't love the job I've done here. I had to re-sort of flow the solder. The cable is hanging out way too long as well, so I'm going to trim that down. All right, it's day two with the voiceover here. It just drove me crazy trying to work and also have a big microphone in my face. So I thought I'd just do the rest with some voiceover. I ended up finishing the job. I went to put the pick guard down and I looked at it and I went, man, all of these wires are far too long. And I kept saying cables for some reason. So all the wires were far too long. So I just started trimming them back, uh, stripping them as well, and then just uh, putting everything back to the ground, which is the volume pot for these particular pickups. And I just trimmed everything shorter and made it far more tidy. So I actually went to put the pick guard down on the guitar and I thought, man, it's, it's just too much stuff going on under there and I should have made them shorter. Now, if you don't do this very often, like I don't, <laughs> then uh, you, you are a little too paranoid perhaps about uh, trimming the wires too short. I mean, that's the worst thing you, you can do, right? So I was just being overly cautious. I th think that led to the lengths of the cables just being far too long, but... You know, second time I went back to it, so, still the same day, of course, doing the job, but uh, I just thought, yeah, I can make these far shorter. Now, the blue uh, tape that I've got on there, I actually tidy up a little bit as well, but just getting a good sense of how this will fit underneath. So as you can see, I just tidied it up there and uh, it almost fit perfectly the first time. There was a slight bulge just right above the bridge pickup, um, but, you know, I sort of shuffled it around a little bit. I think one of the wires was probably just stuck somewhere but it all worked out in the end. Now, if you want to hear these pickups, stay tuned. I've got an A-B comparison. 
with my old pickups, which I think you're going to be in for a bit of a treat with. But anyway, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Let us know if you like these kind of videos. If you have any tips for other people watching, leave them below. Catch you soon.